seen the challenges of the Harrogate rush hour to arrive here promptly, and we really do appreciate you being here this morning um, to contribute your time and your expertise to consider social action and its role in supporting health and well-being in the Harrogate district. We're going to use a simple little process called open space, which some of you may well know about, and it, it works like this. Over here, we've got our agenda board for the whole of the morning session. We're going to have two rounds of conversation. Each will be about 45 minutes long. And we've got places to have these conversations. So place number one is over here. Place number two is over there. So um, I kind of wanted to get a group together to talk about that, to, to just really see how we can just communicate better, really. How as a sector can we provide an, an easily commissionable service to commissioners who are very short on time, dealing with hundreds of small organisations? We felt that the changes that have been happening in social care, there's another tranche going through at the moment. We feel them and we see the difference. We feel the difference for our clients. And we would like a relationship around the involved decision making around the next wave of changes that are going through. We're really talking about the impact of volunteering, more about the, the means to an end rather than the end product, because we decided that within this diverse group of amazing organisations, volunteering was the, the common thread that we delivered all our services through a, a team of volunteers. One of, the, one of the really cool things we thought that we could do was to try and adopt an existing outcome tool which helped us to measure improved health and well-being. An important part of improved health and well-being of course is community safety. Uh, to reflect some of the other things that have been said uh, is a sort of perceived gap between the voluntary sector and commissioners in particular in the statutory sector in that all of us are uh, confronting unmet need, real need on a day-by-day -day basis and we're providing services to meet that need and we feel that we've got a, um, a wealth of information and knowledge to pass on but the gap that I referred to um, is that it's difficult to pass that on to commissioners, we feel. Um, I suppose from my point of view, which is really specific, is who is getting the information that I'm sending out. I send out information to CCGs, I send out information to GPs, I send out information to the, the County Council, the Borough Council. I don't know if this information is being acknowledged. So I think what we wanted to do is to see a shift where actually commissioners would look towards the voluntary sector first and see that as their first choice of provision, especially around prevention, rather than first going to more expensive developments. And we considered an idea something like the community right to buy, where members of the community have got the opportunity to look at council buildings, look at council operations and actually say they want to have that building. Uh, I think one of the things that's come out is uh, is the positive partnerships within the voluntary sector. So we spent the morning together and actually feeling together, supporting one another, having that kind of common energy and, and goal was 
palpable, if you like. You can, you can kind of feel that positive energy, so that was positive. Um, the fact that the commissioners kind of came and they said, yes, we value you, we want to hear from you, we want to listen, was a really positive message. Um, and then the fact that they seemed to be saying, yeah, actually we've heard some key messages that we think are important that we want to take forward from here. I very much recognise the good work that the voluntary sector does across our district, so I wanted to learn more about that, and in particular how the police can work with the voluntary sector to better protect vulnerable people. Um, well, I've heard about the great work that um, people do, and in particular I think there's their, the closeness of the relationship between the voluntary sector and the people that they support, which I think is really essential for us to understand and to be able to use to better protect people. And secondly, I think that um, we need to try and work better together so we each understand what we require of each other so that we can put the right services in place for, for people. I think the challenges are how we can organise both ourselves as commissioners but how the voluntary sector can organise themselves so it makes it easier for commissioners to interact with them and commission the services that they need. There's a huge diversity and variety of people providing services and they do a brilliant job but as a commissioner looking across the whole of North Yorkshire and not just in one district, it can be quite difficult to understand who does what. So I think we need to really try and focus on doing that. And I think if we can do that, that will make a big difference and people will get better services. I think I was hoping that everybody would come prepared to collaborate um, because I think sometimes as a sector we tiptoe towards collaboration and then think oh I'm not sure about sharing that and am I giving too much away and feel we're in competition when actually we should be working in partnership um, and also prepared to meet our statutory partners and hoping that they would use us more effectively than I sometimes think that we do they do now it's kind of they know we're there but aren't quite sure what to do with us really, even though they they would like to. I came today not really sure what I would uh, discover, but I was hoping to understand a little bit more about the needs of people who use health services in the Harrogate and Rural District and how we might better understand those needs so that we can meet them more effectively. It's been uh, incredibly encouraging. What we've got here is a group of very, very committed people who want to move forward in a positive way and who want to support people who need help in health and social care in Harrogate Rural District, which for me as a, a member of a group which commissions um, health and social care services. Uh, it's fantastic news really that all these people are so committed to making a difference. Uh, one of the biggest challenges, one of the biggest challenges, is to understand how we measure patient experience um, in a qualitative way rather than just measuring a number of boxes ticked and looking at a statistical sheet to tell us how many outputs there have been. We want to understand the health outcomes for our community and how to improve those outcomes and without patient stories and patient experience I don't think we can do that effectively. Um, I was hoping that today would be a great opportunity for a really strong and diverse sector, uh, third sector in the Harrogate district to come together with, with commissioners to talk about the strength and quality of the offer we have in terms of public health and well-being and one, get that message across to them and two, find out more about what it is that they hope to get from the third sector and what they see our role as in health and social care. Um, the two things that I'll take away from today was the, the strength and the quality of what the third sector can offer. I think I was really impressed by the professionality of the organisations attending and their commitment to uh, doing really effective work with their clients but stuff that's value for money and has real impact on people's lives um, and the other thing is is that it does feel like commissioners are taking the third sector seriously and want it to play a key role and for me I'm taking away from today the idea that that dialogue has begun and I'm hoping that it's going to continue and come to fruition sooner rather than later.